part of the war over in Europe. Okay, I'm going to come up to the wall. And there is Kansas. I know it looks really small, but that is the pillar dedicated to all the Kansas veterans who fought in World War II. There's Gary Swindale. Say hi, Gary. They say hi. They say hi. We're Skyping a fourth grade class. All righty. So, there's special symbolism for all the different um, fountains and things. Each little fountain represents something, and then the two big fountains represent something, but I don't remember what they are. Sorry about that. Um, the other thing is they have open pools for ducks on the other side. Um, it's kind of hard to see from here, but they have duck ponds on, the, um, on either side of the uh, big circle here. Um, if you, if we could zoom in a little bit, you could see the um, rotunda on top of the Supreme Court building. Um, but it's kind of hard to see with this guy. Okay. Here is the star wall. Oh, cool. And with a little edited map, we found out there are 1,100 stars, and each star represents a thousand veterans who died in World War II. And then there's a plaque in front of it, and it it says, "Here we mark the price of freedom." Can you read that? Yeah, is it too? It's it's really grainy. Oh, it's too hard to read. Yeah. yeah. So what are the? Oh, sorry about that. That's okay. So how are the veterans that have gone? Have you got to talk to any of them and see what their thoughts are on this trip? I have gotten to talk with some of the veterans. Yes. Would you like to talk with one of them? Sure. Would that be okay? Wayne, would you like to take fourth grade class back in Kansas? It's, a third. it's third, Ross. Do you guys have any questions? Do you have a question? Oh, third grade. I'm sorry. It's third grade class. No fourth grade class. Um. Then we go to Topeka and pick up some more veterans. Um, and everybody loads onto a big charter bus, a 50-passenger charter bus. And then um, we ride for about an hour and go to Kansas City, um, KCI, it's Kansas City International Airport. And then we have to help our veterans out of the bus, which is the bigger, bigger issue because it's a very steep set of stairs to get into it. So we help our veterans down and get them into usually wheelchairs. And then we push them through the airport and we go through airport security. How many of you guys have been in an airport or gone in an airplane before? About, about oh my 10. Gosh. Okay, 10 of you? Cool. So you know the kind of things they make you do. You have to take off your shoes and your belts and like into your pockets, that sort of thing. Well, it's kind of hard if you're older and it's harder for you to move around. So that's what we do. That's what the Guardians are there for. We're there to make sure that it's easier for the veterans to do those things that are harder to do when you're old. Like, you know, take stuff out of your pockets and take off your shoes and that sort of thing. So that's what we spend most of our day doing. And so after we get through the airport security, we get on another bus. And the, well, actually, I should tell you, the airport takes us to Baltimore, which is actually in Maryland. And that's about 35 or 40 minutes away from Washington, D.C., where we are right now, the downtown area. So we get on another bus and drive for about 40 minutes to come right here. And we spend about an hour here at the memorial. And then we're going to go do a little miniature tour and see um, like the White House and um, we're going to take a little